Good afternoon, dear students. A big, uh, let me welcome you for day five, session two, induction program for B first year, organized by Department of Science and Humanities. We have with us Dr. Nawaz Khan, ma'am, ex HOD, Department of Science and Humanities, Faculty of Sociology, Entrepreneur, Development. Uh, you can say <laughs> there are so many subjects she has been teaching in uh, BE. So I now request Dr. Nawaz Khan, ma'am, to kindly proceed her presentation on social etiquettes. Over to you, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Please continue. OK. Good afternoon, students. I, Nawaz Khan, Associate Prof Professor, Department of Science and Humanities, Anjuman College of Engineering and Technology. I welcome you all to the college. It's being nice to see you online, but soon we will be meeting in person. OK, so I would like to uh, say that uh, today I'm going to speak on uh, the topic uh, that is social etiquette. So let's begin with it. You might be thinking that why I'm talking about social etiquette. Yes, there are so many etiquettes to be learned and to be followed. But you might be thinking, why social etiquettes? Now, students, you are going to be a part of engineering for four years. And the basic things begins with social etiquettes. So I, am, I decided then that I should present something on social etiquette rather than something very high fi and uh, which is beyond you to think of it. So first, we should start with this particular topic. That what was my thought. And uh, then um, uh, then we come to etiquette. You have to just see, the, see my first slide. I think it is um, available. Uh, what is social etiquette? Social etiquette is nothing but it is a custom and rules for polite behavior, or it is a a long time. Yes, students. Now, when we talk about social etiquette, social etiquette are nothing but it is the rules we are following. Being a human, when we are polite to others, people say that a person has a good etiquette. It is nothing but it is a sort of custom. When we see other people behaving properly, we say that this is their custom which has taught a person to follow a good etiquette. And that is what you create an impact on others and you have a brand of your own self. And this is how you build up your personality. And that is nothing but it is social etiquette. So not here when we talk about social etiquette, it is very, very important that our conduct how is our conduct? How is our feeling towards other? What, how much we respect other that promote a sense of um, uh, a feeling in the minds of others too. And this is what people start respecting us. And that is what we are culturally bonded with each other. And that is what we are talking about. It is social etiquette okay now when we say social etiquette social etiquette is important because it creates an impression about your personality just now as i have told you that in turn affect the perception and treatment of other people towards you yes you have created your own brand isn't it you have created your own brand that is what we are talking about the basic etiquette be yourself what i'm talking about that you have to be always be yourself be yourself into mean to what we mean to say over here that it is very necessary that you have to respect others when you will respect others others are going to respect you that you should always keep it in mind and that is only nothing but it is the basic part of social etiquette now see, there are so many words you are using it in your day-to-day -day life, but sometimes we don't even know that they are the part of social etiquettes. Now, when you know each other or when we are in a group or when we are in a society, it is very necessary that you have to give, give respect to each other. Now, when you meet each other for the first time, you might be using certain terms and terminologies to wish each other. Might be good morning, good afternoon, good evening, depending upon the time, isn't it? Not only this, making use of the words like thank you, sorry, 
please they are nothing but they are all related to social etiquettes okay when you give genuine compliment to others what might be these genuine compliments that yeah just now as you have stuck to after a wonderful session you say thank you ma'am your session was wonderful this was your remark in the previous session so that is nothing but what what are they they are the genuine compliments and they are nothing but they are the part of social etiquette okay not only this you have to not only speak speak and speak but what the rule says over here regarding social etiquette that you should listen before speaking okay listen before speaking which is considered as a very very important part of social etiquette so these are the basic things which has to be understood and which has to be followed you might be thinking that why we are talking about the social etiquette the etiquettes are of so many kind now it is what we are studying over here i mean to say what we are listening over here is the social etiquette but there are even business etiquette which is very very necessary and required for a business purpose then it is a corporate etiquette corporate etiquettes are those etiquettes which will be very very essential for you in your professional life when you will be entering into your professional life as an engineer working in multinational companies or any other company you might be requiring those uh, corporate etiquettes without which you stand nowhere so you have to know what corporate etiquettes are so that what we are going to see what corporate etiquettes are and so on and how it is to be followed and how it is to be developed but if you develop social etiquette at this level naturally your corporate etiquette will automatically develop okay now we are talking about not only this even social media etiquettes travel etiquettes eating etiquette these are all kinds of etiquettes which are already uh, there in uh, uh, which exist or it is a kind or the type of etiquette so, okay apart from that uh, it is very necessary for us to know how you develop social etiquette what we are talking about how we develop social etiquette so first we are talking about building your personal brand just now i told you that building a personal brand is very very important just yes, you have to create your own you have to show your own personality to other that how you are as i have told you be yourself okay now when we are talking about this choose the right conversation topic so when we are interacting in society when we are interacting with friends we are interacting with group we are interacting in class you know that in the class now um, you might be involved in debates you might be involved in group discussions and so on so here what we are talking about so conversation will be playing a very very important role how you create an impact on the topic okay the topic will be very very important over here the topic you have to stick to your topic okay that is only a part of social etiquette if you are going beyond that topic or leaving that topic and talking about something else is not a part of social etiquettes anymore so you have to keep it in mind that how you are going to create a uh, impact on the topic and how you are going to convince other related to it is very very important okay not only this when we talk about the second one we are talking about over here is remember remember names remember names of what we are talking about you have to call out people with their proper names remembering their names in fact memorizing them uh, creating a good uh, impact on others uh, just remembering their names and so on that is also nothing but it is a part of social etiquette okay what happens when we are students or you are students at present what you do you don't uh, uh, sometimes when you don't remember the name of your teachers or your classmate then you call out them with some other name that this teacher with a particular subject okay where is she or where is he so that is not the correct part of social etiquette you have to remember the names that is only how you are going to develop your social etiquette for your future in your corporate life you cannot say that a manager from this and this company i wanted to meet him in spite of your you know his name but you don't remember it 
that is not the part of social etiquette so you have to remember names okay then we are talking about make eye contact the right way now when we talk about the eye contact eye contact is important and it is related to one of the most important part of even body language the fourth slide as you see use correct body language and postures that is also i'm talking about so eye contact or it is a correct body language and posture that is also the part of social etiquette because they both are the part of non verbal communication what you are going to study in your uh, first semester that is the subject that is communication skill and that time you will come to know that how these things are considered as very important and it's a part of social etiquette now when we talk about body language and postures what you see over here now we uh, how we hold our um, bodies and uh, uh, how is our overall overall physical form uh, as an individual that matters a lot not only this uh, the posture of an individual can convey a lot about the particular individual uh, can give information about that particular individual so it is very necessary that we should understand that how to read a body language and a posture that is also a part of social etiquette once you understand it you have to not only follow it but you have to even learn it that what are the correct body language and posture which will be very very helpful to you in your professional life or in the future not only this when you will understand that what should be the correct body language and posture then that will definitely help you in understanding that the person with whom you are interacting is a person of confidence open minded or he is somewhat pessimistic or optimistic so that you will come to know only when we will be developing the self uh, these things among ourselves as well as and reading it uh, in order to or learning it in order to find it out for others okay so the communication will skill will be helping you to a larger extent to even develop social etiquette so then coming to the next point is abide by social media etiquette now we are talking about abide by social media etiquette what does that mean now today when we talk about social media etiquette we are using the word over here abide okay there are certain golden golden rules um, which are to be exercised when we are talking about the social media et etiquette um, uh, when you are online speaking um, anyone you have to keep it in mind that you have to treat the person properly that is nothing but that has been considered as a golden rule okay golden rule of what social media etiquette now see most of the time you are online on your mobile phone so you have to keep it in mind that when you are online how you are speaking and treating the person who is on the other side okay not only this remember everything that what you are posting in the group or on your personal site or whatsoever because see when if you are on fb okay remember everything you post or if it is on the group everything you are posting it is public so you have to be very very careful and that has been considered as a part of etiquette okay don't post things when you are angry or emotional so both the things are very important over here even when you are very angry even when you are very emotional don't try to post anything on social media because as i am taking the social media as a part of social etiquette now don't journal your thoughts even um, and even your feelings uh, in public now nowadays people are having uh, uh, too much of uh, people are um, people are always of that kind that uh, they wanted to show it to the public uh, they wanted to tell people uh, that what they are doing what they are eating where they are roaming and so on so just they wanted to post everything on the social media so your life is all personal it doesn't have to be displayed to the public so that should be also only to the limited extent it should be done uh, not more than that and uh, you have to keep it in mind that do not post the pic 
or any message of an individual without or his or her permission so that is all your device when you are at public place or with your again and do not talk on by phone when you are driving either you are driving, you are driving a four wheeler you don't have to talk on mobile you know what are the consequences of when you are using mobile phones while driving okay then we are even talking about the social etiquettes even also include the part of learn the language of table manners what does that mean table manners what it you are going to be professionals going to interact with so many people in future not only this i told you that you may i might be visiting different parts of the world and uh, it is necessary to inculcate table manners in our life agar humne abhi nahi seekha hai to koi baat nahi hai कोई गलती नहीं हुई है हमको नहीं आता है नहीं आता है हमको कई बार लगता है कि यू डोंट नो हाउ टू ईट विथ फोक एंड नाइफ एंड सो ऑन सो नो प्रॉब्लम नो शूज
I can see your screen now. Buffering is on. What happened, ma'am? Yeah, I'm doing it. Some net issue is there. Mm -hmm. Next. Mm -hmm. I'm okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, students. Madam, I am audible. Okay. So we were with the slide when there was a network problem. Okay. So uh, I wanted to. Uh, tell you what is the difference between manners and etiquette. So what are manners? Here we mean to say way of behaving, how you are acting in public, correct way of behaving in society, person's way of behaving towards others. It is not only your behavior towards others, but it is also others' behavior towards you. So all behaving patterns, in fact, that is nothing but they are all related to the manners. Okay, and they are all coming under the same category of, I mean to say, manners, and they are closely linked with 
etiquettes. As I am talking about over here, that both etiquettes and manner play a significant role in social interaction. You cannot say that only manners will help you out. It is only the etiquettes, but it is both etiquettes and manner which will help you out in your role. You will be continuously interacting in society, in the group, it, with people around you. Even when you will be engineers, you will be interacting with so many people, your subordinates, your um, bosses, and so on. So that is what it is all a part of social interaction and where your etiquettes and manner will be playing a most important role. Why? Because because these two concepts evolve around human behavior and are often used interchangeably. Yes, we are talking about interchangeably. We are sometimes making use of the word etiquette. Sometimes we are making use of the term manner. And that is what it is. Both are directly and indirectly related to the term that is human behavior. The process of learning etiquette is more important than learning good manners. Yes, it has been said by thinkers and research which has been carried out. It has been said that if you learn etiquettes at one, then you inculcate good manners among you. So that is very essential that you should have a strong social etiquette among yourself. Okay, now let's look at some ways to practice proper etiquettes and manner. Now we are we have come to both the terms that is social etiquettes as well as manners which we are using it into our day-to-day -day life first year we are talking about that you have to mind your own language yes the language plays a very important role what you speak how you speak when you speak plays a very important role into your day-to-day -day life not only this your mind your language means over here the tongue we use the way we are communicating to others so communication again plays a very very important role when we are talking about mind your language your using your tongue in fact tells us about the friendly and if you are friendly and respectful to others, people will also in turn will be treating you in the same way. Not only this, you have to make use of the proper appropriate words in your day to day life, which can uh, create an impact on others. Either you are working, um, you are with your friends, either with you are, you are in a group, you are in a society, you are place and so on so you have to keep it in mind that you have to be always use your etiquettes looking into the situation at that particular moment or period of time then here we are talking about that you have to dress appropriately yes dressing sense plays a very very important role and that is again a part of body language yes so you're wearing an appropriate clothing for the particular occasion also define your etiquettes and manners you have to probably use a dress code if it has been
हाँ विजिबल ओके स्टूडेंट सो यस मैम यस मैम ओके यस सो वी वर टॉकिंग अबाउट एप्रोप्रिएट ड्रेस फॉर ऑल ओकेजन सो आई टोल्ड यू डैट इट इज नॉट नेसेसरी दैट यू शुड वेयर ऑलवेज एन एक्सपेंसिव ड्रेस विच विल शो योर एटिकेट्स एंड मैनर इट्स नॉट लाइक दैट इवन यू वेयर अ क्लीन एंड टाइटी क्लोथ दैट इज ऑल्सो अ पार्ट ऑफ एटिकेट्स एंड मैनर okay then it has been the fourth point be on time yes we are talking about punctuality punctuality is always essential and it is also again a part of etiquette and manner both because reaching on time for the particular occasion in your life either it is your college life or your social life or whatsoever then you have to be on time sometime it may be meetings it may be appointment with someone it might be you are going for a meal then you have to be on time a simple way to show courtesy and respect for others is nothing but be on time so i told you that when you reach to people on time it is nothing but you are showing a respect and courtesy on the other party okay then keep an open mind now keep an open mind says over here that you have to remove all the blindings from your mind promote thoughtful disagreements uh, keep quiet your mind regularly uh, by doing certain meditation a willingness to hear others and uh, developing new ideas and at the same time considering new ideas is nothing but that is also the part of proper etiquette and manners okay now we are going to see social etiquette in classroom yes students social etiquette in classroom this is what the beginning is isn't it why i am talking about that this is the beginning because how you present yourself when you enter into the institution where you are admitted so that determines the social etiquette and that is what you are going to learn a lot from it the first one is i told you it is the punctuality you have to follow you have to be on time okay coming to college on time is the most important part not only time we are following over here it is not punctuality does it mean to say that you are time is perfect but you are perfect in all sense submitting your assignments on time completing your homework on time completing your practicals on time etc etc when you are a part of college or a classroom then that is punctuality okay then we are talking about the telephone conduct telephone conduct is very important all of you carry nowadays an android mobile phone with you as well so when you are in class you have to put it either on a vibration mode or you have to keep your phone switch off this shows your conduct okay if you do not show telephone conduct it may result into several consequences in the class isn't it the teacher may punish you you may be sent out of the class and so on so that creates a bad impact in the mind of the teacher that you don't have proper etiquette so telephone conduct plays a very important role then come to the third one is the dress code yes i told you just now about the dress code that your dress code when you are in college yes it's a uniform so uniform clean and neat and a complete uniform shows your proper social etiquette and conduct okay so that you have to keep it in mind awareness of subjects and lectures yes you should know how many subjects you are studying how many lectures are there 
whether you have a timetable or you don't have a timetable, whether you have a syllabus or you don't have a syllabus, this all matters. And this is all a part of a social etiquette. Yes, you are studying a subject in the class, but you don't know sometimes that you are studying this particular subject. You don't know the syllabus of it. So that is not a part of social etiquette. So this is the beginning from where you have to learn. You have to be aware about the subjects and your lectures. Then we are talking about the fourth one is the appropriate language. Yes, appropriate language in the class, outside the class, in the society, with the group, with the friends. That also is a part of social etiquette. You have to respect others. You will gain respect from others. Okay, so that is what uh, language, respect, they are all interrelated and interact, um, interrelated points and uh, they are totally interdependent on each other, these points. So respect, appropriate language, good conduct and at the same time taking care of the surroundings. Now when we talk about taking care of the surroundings, the surrounding we are talking about the environment in which we are living, the environment in which our class is taking care of all those things which are meant for you, isn't it? That is also a part of social etiquette. You have to keep it in mind. Each and everything you are using in college is nothing but it is for you. It is the facility which has been provided for you. So you have to take care of each and everything which is around you is nothing but it is again a part of social etiquette. So social etiquette in classroom will be playing a very, very important role in your life because if you learn all these things at once or in the initial stage or in the beginning, you will be able to follow in the rest of your life. Okay. Now, see, after so many things, what we have gone here, what I have one quote over here, uh, teach love, generosity, good manners, and some of that will drift from the classroom to the home. And who knows, the children will be educating the parents. So this is what it happens. Sometimes good things when you learn, it may go to your home. And new things what you take to the home, you might be educating your parents through it. This is a common thing which has been happening from ancient times that when children sometimes learn new, they educate their parents. Okay. Now, before concluding, I would like to say that uh, treat everyone with politeness. That is only a part of social etiquette, even those who are rude to you. Not because they are nice, but because you are nice. Now, if you follow all this, you will develop a sense of social etiquette among you. And this will only help you to follow all other etiquettes which I have told you what are the types of etiquettes, which will be very, very necessary when you will be following the corporate etiquettes, you will be following the business etiquette. So corporate etiquettes and business etiquette, etiquettes will become very simple, simple for you if you are going to understand the basic of social etiquettes. Okay. So I think students, when we will be meeting in college offline, I mean to say in person, there are so many things to be learned. And we will be learning so many things as in person then. So for today, I think this much is sufficient. We have uh, most of the time uh, problem in connectivity issue. Uh, two, three times we got disconnected. Uh, so cannot help it out now anymore. So uh, ending my presentation here only. Thank you so much. Madam, over to you. Thank you so very much, ma'am. I suppose uh, the lecture which you have conducted right now is the need of our. And uh, what I have seen is that students are now being really misbehaving a lot. So I su this lecture should at least teach them how to conduct themselves in classroom, in the college, and no doubt in the society as well. Thank you so very much, ma'am. It was really nice hearing you, your presentation. And uh, that's all students we have today. Let us join tomorrow for the day six final two session. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Tasneem, ma'am.